In 2015, Chevy's highest trim with the most options available was the High Country, and that's what I got. Before this truck, I had a 2022 Silverado ZR2 that had a lot more features than this truck. Now, I've been updating this thing to kind of bring it up to the modern age and adding features and tech that my ZR2 had. This truck already had sunroof, power sliding, rear window, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, all that good stuff. But a couple key features were missing that I absolutely loved on my ZR2 that I had to have in this truck. And thankfully, there's a way to retrofit a good bit of that new tech in to this old truck. One of the first things I did was completely replace the stereo and climate control with an Android tablet, an all new unit. That gave me Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both which weren't offered in the 2015 Silver Autos, didn't happen until 2016. And this is wireless, which wasn't offered in this body style at all, but I had it on my ZR2. So naturally, the next thing I wanna do is also on the interior, and it has to do with this mirror. My 2022 ZR2 had the rear view camera mirror, which is becoming a lot more common across the auto industry. Chevy was one of the first to do it. They had it in trucks and Cadillacs and Corvettes. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. It was part of the tech package and I miss having that. Well, it turns out you can retrofit that in to these old trucks relatively simply. And that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna find out just how simple it is. This is all possible by one of the Facebook groups I'm a part of where a guy retrofitted this in and said it really wasn't that difficult or expensive. So all you need is the actual mirror itself, which I got this used off of eBay for a pretty decent price, and apparently it's plug and play. So you have your factory connector here, which I assume is power, ground, etc. And then this is the actual video feed here. And the mount is supposed to be the same as well. That leads you to the rest of the wiring and the camera itself. Well, it turns out it's cheaper just to get an entire third brake light from a 2020-ish plus Silverado and just pull the camera out of it because the camera's bolted in. And obviously this third brake light is massive compared to the one that's in that truck. Now the wiring is just simply one cable that runs all the way to the mirror. I'm not gonna need the rest of that. And the cable, you can simply just purchase off of Amazon. So I got a 10 foot cable for super cheap I would say around $10. So this is really the only cable I have to run. Now, of course, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount the camera and where and et cetera and do some custom touches with that. But first things first, I wanna get the old mirror off and just make sure that this new mirror does in fact mount using the same mount and make sure the wiring connector and harness is all the same and that's just gonna be plug and play. Now it has this cover one, which I think, yeah, this cover pretty much just pops off. That connector 100% looks exactly the same. Hopefully the mount is the same. That's so this, uh, this should be the easy part. Of course, I have all this other stuff. I assume this is part of the crash avoidance system, the front forward collision alert system. All that is is a simple torque socket. Make sure you guys have a set of torques because Torx is used all the time. You can get cheap ones off of Amazon. They work just fine. Okay, that slides off easy enough. Well, okay, so far this couldn't be any easier. Wow, and yeah, that just, that just freaking slides right on there. That is awesome. Oh yeah, plugs right in. Well, so far at least this part couldn't be any easier. Let's key it on and make sure it powers up. Yep. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Works absolutely perfectly. Now, of course, it's not gonna show anything because, uh, you know, there's no camera connected. But the fact that we have power and everything, oh, that is awesome. Okay, so now I've got to figure out how I'm going to run the wire. Of course, I'm going to run the wire above the headliner. I'm not going to drop the whole thing because I don't need to. It's just one simple wire. I just have to figure out how I'm going to get back there, and then i got to take the third brake light out that I have and see how I'm going to mount the camera in there, per se. What's nice is I don't really care about this third brake light, so I'm going to drill a hole in it, and if it cracks or it gets messed up, whatever. This is a proof of concept. Third brake lights are super cheap, so this might be version 1.0. 
there might be a second version coming. For now, I'm gonna take the camera out of the new used third brake light, take the third brake light out of this truck and see what we can come up with. This video is sponsored by The Ridge. The Ridge makes awesome products. And some of the things I have included here is this carbon fiber wallet and carbon fiber key case. You can get either one of these products up to 40% off right now through December 22nd by going to ridge.com slash Ross 13. Carbon fiber is not the only version that they make. They have a whole bunch of unique colors you can choose from on their website. I just personally love carbon fiber. This particular wallet is super slim, has a cash clip on the back, can hold up to 12 cards in the middle of it, and it even has this nice little slot for your finger where you push up and your cards simply come out and they're easy to retrieve. But we're not gonna show you the cards that I have in there. And I don't have to explain to you guys that this is way smaller than your standard wallet and this fits way better in your pocket. You don't have to sit on some massive old leather heap like this. This is the way to go. And they make such good wallets that they actually come with a lifetime warranty. Big thanks to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to go to ridge.com slash Ross13 to get up to 40% off your own wallet. Let's get back to the video. This is probably the same Torx, yep. Here's the camera and it comes with this little mounting bracket. I don't know if I'll reuse that or not. Somehow in there, there's gonna be some type of JB Weld or glue or something that's happening with this. I'm excited. Now the third brake light I came with came with its own wiring harness, but obviously I don't need really any of it. I was thinking it would be long enough, but it's not even remotely close to long enough to use the camera connectors. That's why I got this one from Amazon, really don't need any of this, except maybe this grommet, we'll see. Show onto taking that old stock, ugly third brake light out to uh, drill and cut it up. Bonus content. You guys remember the dent, the big crease that was in the bedside? It also had a pretty decent dent on the driver's side rear door and the passenger side front fender as well as some light hail damage on the hood. That's all gone. In the crease, you would never, never even know it was there. It looks absolutely perfect. Big thanks to my buddy out at Ultra Tech Solutions. If you're in like the central PA area or Delaware, hit him up. He does fantastic work. Like all the dents are 100% gone. I was really worried about that crease. The crease looks awesome. Well. Crease doesn't look awesome, the, the crease is gone. It looks perfect. I'm super, super happy with how that came out. Anyway, wanted to let you guys know about that, throw in some pictures, throw in some B-roll. Very pumped that it looks that good. All right, back to the camera mirror installation. Now I just have to figure out the best way to actually mount that in there. Actually, I think I'm just gonna dremel this hole out larger so it will slide in there and I don't actually have to worry about baking this or taking it apart. Drill a small hole here where it's real snug fit and just silicone it in. I think, I think that should work. And like I said, worst case scenario, it leaks or messes up this light. I don't really care, this is a standard third brake light. Don't really have an attachment to this thing, especially because it's hideous. I uh, forgot to hit record, anyway. I got it opened up, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it doesn't really matter. It only has to work. So now I can fit the camera inside there and position it where I want it. But really before I shove the camera in there and, and it ends up getting stuck or something, uh, I'm going to drill out my hole um, so I know the final position. Ideally, I can drill this nice and slow without cracking it, but we'll see how that goes. It's right at like five eighths. It's 
It's making a real nice hole. All right, still not there yet. That is snug. That might be it. So if you guys were wondering, this was pointed down in the stock one. So that's what I'm going to do here, which is not very easy. Ho, 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 buddy. That looks freaking real nice. That is an excellent fit. Not gonna need much silicone at all. Maybe just clean up the plastic just a hair. Now, do I know if the angle is gonna be correct? Absolutely not, but I'm, I'm willing to just give it, a, give it a whirl, you know? But I am, uh, I'm pleased with that. I just do like a dab of super glue. Not a huge super glue guy, but. That might work just fine. I mean, it is a pretty tight fit on there, which I'm happy with. Let that dry just for a bit. See how that holds. Gonna let the glue dry for a bit, and in the meantime, do the, uh, probably the worst part of this, figuring out how to run this wire up through the headliner and all that. It actually might not be too bad. Hopefully I can sneak like a rod from where the third brake light is. Just follow the top of the headliner without pulling it down and see where it ends up. I don't think this is gonna be too bad. Am I jinxing myself? Well, quite possibly. So I just have to get from here all the way back there and it's not going to be in a straight line because of the sunroof. But the, the sunroof might actually help me because I have all this access. I think this might be just fine. So I can see back there, it's a start. One side might be enough. All you gotta do is see it. Ah, I do see it. Ooh. Yes, yes, got it. All right, we got that. That's a good start. Now I just have to take this up, draw that back, and then we'll worry about final placement of the wires in a bit. Nearing the finish line. <laughs> we got it, boys. All right, so I have to get everything else back in its place. Ooh. I screw it in she'll probably test it <laughs> moment of truth I'm pretty freaking stupid did I plug it in up there yeah yeah I did all right I gotta finish that cover but test holy shit, it works oh my goodness shut up radio <laughs> that's freaking sweet that's some 
trim to put back on. That's really about it. All right, you mother Okay, yeah, you go there. And of course, now it's not cooperating yet, you piece of shit. There we go. Whew, now it's looking better. That's aimed pretty good, boys, because I just catch the corner of my bed there. Oh yeah. OEM, freaking plus. Guys, I'm like tickled pink with that. Ed, that worked out really, really well. I'm super happy with the end result, but there are some improvements to be made in the future. This is version 1.0. Version 2.0, I wanna replace the whole third brake light with an aftermarket unit that just looks better and functions better. It has brighter bulbs, LEDs, etc. But this was good practice. So I know the camera can fit in there. I got the wire ran, which really wasn't that bad. And mounting the mirror itself was cake. Couldn't be any easier. Now, if you look, you can see the camera is just a little crooked when you're looking at the actual mirror. So I'm guessing I need to rotate the housing inside there just a hair, and that'll be something I'll make sure is like perfectly level on version 2.0. Now, if you guys have suggestions for a third brake light, please let me know. All the ones that I've seen just look like trash and probably leak. So if you guys have something in mind that you think will work well with this camera, leave me a comment. That would be very very helpful. I think next up with lighting is probably rock lights and or headlights. I want to build the headlights in this truck, but I need another set to put in the truck while I'm building them. So I'm contemplating getting the Morimoto headlights. They look pretty killer, but they're also uh, a killer expensive price. So that could be coming in the future. We'll see. I'm definitely going to build the headlights at some point. Don't know if that'll be soon or not. Anyway, it's getting cold. The work on the truck's going to slow down because I hate being outside in the cold and the Porsche uh, is a disaster right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.